What is up you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Plot. Welcome back to another Platinum Edition DLC video here from the Xbox One. Who's ready for Corn Harvest? You guys know we have this one field. Well, it's really seven and eight, but we're going to call it one field. Oh, you got to unfold. Oh, I thought I was ready to go. Not at all. Fail. Anyway, got this one field of corn. Need to harvest it. And let's see, there we go. Unfold all the thingamabobs and the doodads and the and the things. <laughs> Gotta unfold them all. Alright, I uh, appreciate you guys clicking on the video. How's your day going? Hope you guys are having a good one. And uh, yeah, so some more farm some. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. So we are going to punch our microphone arm. Not, not going to do that. Not going to try to do that anyway. Uh, we need to get a couple other things going, or at least one more thing. That would be our planter. Planting barley. We're going to plant the world in barley. Is he going to go? Go, 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 gadget planter. Okay. So that is good to go. Uh, now, we will need the auger wagon. I was like, what do we need? What do we need? We need this thing called an auger wagon and a tractor. Because we don't really have anything else to do but to concentrate on the harvest. So hopefully we won't get any full combines or anything. And uh, we should be good to go as far as that's concerned. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we are going to empty into the train because it's right there. How conveniently placed. It's like I planned ahead because I do that once in a while. Not very often. Let's just be real, but once in a while I do like to plan ahead and try to set some stuff up for the next video or the next whatever. So there's that. There is that. Okay, there we go. 5,668 liters for a pass. That's not bad. And actually his passes are a little short right now. They'll get longer, but that's not too bad. That's not too bad. So we'll probably run circles around the field because, like, got to hit one going each way and then hit the train. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So there is that. And then we are going to have ourselves a selling party because we've got wheat and we'll have this corn and we have sugar cane. <laughs> we've got a little bit of everything to sell right now. I mean, by everything, I mean wheat, uh, corn and sugar cane, you know, you know, the three things I, by everything. I mean, those three items we have to sell. So that should be fun, right? should be fun or something and i don't know about you guys but i'm i'm smelling a high speed video very soon in this series we haven't done one maybe ever in this series or in a long long time i actually don't remember if we have but we could totally do a high speed like full harvest in one video kind of thing or see how far we get in an hour of recording or so that could be fun that could be fun. This is episode 50, by the way. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. I'm not going to lie. I honestly... See, we're not too far, honestly. We need to start purchasing fields. My goal is to own all the fields before we move on. We do have a little bit of money right now. We could do that. But, I don't know. I don't know. I I'm kind of feeling like uh, maybe this map's getting towards the end of its life cycle. But... At the same time, we have not accomplished or anywhere near accomplished our goal of buying all the fields. So, yeah, we were never going to do uh, animals. You know, never going to have any animals on this series. This series was strictly going to be cropping. And I definitely say we've done that. But it's been 50 episodes now. This is episode 50. So I don't know how many more episodes we'll really do in this series. I need to start laying that out ahead of time and be like, okay, at episode blah, we're done. And I don't know what episode blah is, but for now, we'll keep plugging along. Um, I know there's a lot of modded maps on the console now, and I could definitely look into those. I guess if you have suggestions, guys, leave them in the comments below. I'm not saying I'm ready to pull the trigger on the map like today or anything, but, you know, got to be looking towards the future here. Probably get in one more map before Farm Sim 19 comes out. You know, one more map on the console before then. So that's kind of what I'm thinking anyway. I don't know. 
I don't know. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. And, uh, yeah. Until then, we'll just keep farming along here in our DLC South American map. That's what we will do. Just farm along. Just saying. Farm along. So, yeah. So, the, the one dilemma is I could buy fields. I could buy, like, a field with our money or maybe two. I'm not sure. And then, um, R, I should say R, I upgrade this combine, this tractor and auger wagon to something bigger. That's probably what I should do before I go too crazy into buying fields. And I'll probably have enough money to do that after we finish this corn harvest. Because <laughs> cause we got lots to sell, like I was saying before. We got a little bit of everything. Well, the three things. You know what I mean. We've got a lot to sell. So we will have to see how far we get as far as money goes. But it would be nice to have two of the same combines. That way they unload at the same speed. They fill at the same speed. They, you know, all that stuff. They drive to the field the same. All of that kind of stuff. It would be nice to have two of the same combine. And honestly, a bigger auger wagon and a bigger tractor on the auger wagon would be nice as well. So I'm going to put this sugar cane guy quote unquote away there's just stuff sitting all over the map and i'm trying to get better about parking equipment and putting stuff kind of away and and stuff I, I sometimes slack on that on some of my maps but i'm trying to get better about that stuff just saying sometimes it's hard when you have like all the mods out and or not all the mods all the equipment out and you're like oh my goodness so much stuff so much stuff we're gonna park in front of the hangar because, you know, every big house in South America has a hangar outside of it, right? If you, if you don't, you're not doing it right. <laughs> you're not living right, guys. You must have your hangar out in front of your house, guys. Come on. Didn't, uh, didn't I already tell you that? Like, come on. You gotta have a hangar. If you don't, you're just not living, all, living life right. Goodness gracious. Yeah, I'm seeing some of those pictures of, like... I think it was maybe like John Travolta's house or something like that celebrity John Travolta. He has, he lives like on an airport and he pulls up like his whatever plane right to his house. It's like, that's cool. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Win the lottery. There you go. Although honestly, I don't know how much travel I would do. I'd probably do some travel because traveling is kind of fun, but I really don't know how much I would do. I think one thing that would be really, really cool, and I know I've talked about this before, if money was not, like, a problem, to get, like, a big, I'd probably do it via, like, a big RV bus thing, you know, like a tour bus that, like, a band would use to go on tour, something like that, instead of flying everywhere, but drive to every Major League Baseball stadium in a year, take a summer and just go every stadium i think that would be so so cool and, and realistically it wouldn't take you that long necessarily but you know spread it out over a whole season because you know i wouldn't want to go to some of the southern climates right now of course because it's hot so you'd go to some of the northern ones maybe take like a week here and a week there to kind of you know do the trip you send your bus to different places of course you would have a bus driver you know you wouldn't you wouldn't drive it yourself. Come on. You know, if, if money was not a problem, you know, you could send your bus and then either, like, fly to different locations or whatever. Probably wouldn't fly, though. I just, I don't know. I've never flown, and I don't, don't think I want to fly too much anyway. I don't know. Probably should. <laughs> but I've never, never flown. I've always got done the road trip. We've always done the road trip as a family and stuff, so... Uh, I'm not going to get you before you turn around, am I? Am I? Maybe right here. Maybe. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got him. <laughs> See, you guys, we have to start practicing for Farm Sim 19. Because, supposedly, and I, I believe this to be true, there is going to be crop destruction in the game. So if you drive on crop, it will get rid of your crop. So we have to actually start like preparing ourselves for that because we drive in the crop a lot, especially here on the Xbox series. And and actually for like course play over on the PC side, that's going to be a nightmare. Honestly, that is going to be a nightmare. So hopefully it's a setting and you could like turn it on and off like periodic plowing or 
three stage fertilization. You know, hopefully it's something like that. But if it's not, that's gonna be <laughs> that's gonna be interesting as all get out, honestly. It really is gonna be interesting to see how that works, but yeah. But yeah. <laughs> The other thing I would want to do for at least one season, um, I, obviously I like baseball. Both of these things are talking about baseball. I would love to have one of those like suites down at Bush Stadium, which is like where the Cardinals play. It's like the big fancy suite up behind home plate, up high, a little bit up high, not too high. Um, and that's like really, really nice where you get like food delivered and you can have, you know, 30 people in a suite or something I think that would be a lot of fun to do um, and I think it would be really fun to like work with maybe like some charities or something for like underprivileged youth or something like that and take them to a ball game and have all the food and like that kind of stuff that would be awesome if money was not a problem because those, those boxes go for a lot a lot a lot a lot of money but that would be kind of cool you know like do some do some good with with your money obviously if i had like wheelbarrows full <laughs> it would be nice to be able to do a lot of good with it too you know i always talk about like if i won the lottery i would you know do this or do that but a lot of it would be doing it for others because that's what you should do right that's what you should do like extra life i would have the biggest <laughs> if money wasn't a problem i would be the biggest donator to extra life every year not Team Puma Plow, but me. And Team Puma Plow, of course. Because that's the other thing. I would definitely not stop, like, being a, quote, YouTuber, live streamer, that kind of stuff. We would just be able to do, like, crazy stuff, you know? So, I don't even know what brought up this topic because um, the, the, the lotto is not even, like, I don't think it's up, like, high. I usually, you know, we'll talk about it if it gets over, like, two, three hundred million. And then I say, oh, okay, got to buy a ticket here or there. I don't play the lottery very often. In fact, up until about a year ago, I had never even actually purchased a ticket myself. So, um, you know, but it's two bucks. If you happen, and I know it's rare and whatever, but if you happen to turn two dollars into even a million bucks, I'm okay with that. <laughs> you know so yeah I'd, I'd be okay with that and even a million dollars I think I could live the rest of my life very comfortably off of that because you just don't be stupid with it just don't be stupid stupid and you'll be fine you'll be fine but anyway that's enough of that what else would I do if I had oh getting a uh, thing at the the blues game St. Louis Blues they just changed the name of their stadium or their arena. What did they change the name of their rink to? I can't remember. Oh, I think it's Enterprise Center or something like Enterprise Rent a Car. I think that's what it is. I'm not sure. But I think that would be fun to like go for at least a season, go to a bunch of games because it is fun. It's it's enjoyable. Um, and then I would have said football, but we don't have football in St. Louis anymore. So probably wouldn't worry about that. Maybe get some tickets to, like, the Chiefs games. That would be kind of fun, right? Go over to Kansas City, hang out with some people, you know. Could be fun. I don't know. But anyway, a lot of sporting events. <laughs> a lot of sporting events. Oh, goodness. But anyway, enough talking about, like, money I'll never have, right? <laughs> so farm sim, am I right? Uh, Carn harvest... Not going too bad. Combine's only stopped a little bit. Not too bad. Not too bad. If we focus on this, we'll be okay, though. And actually, we're knocking this field out pretty efficiently here, guys. Pretty efficiently. We are knocking this sucker out. So there is that. All right. Another load from the Massey. The slow, slow unload. You really need to just ride next to the Massey at all times. He unloads so slow, but that's okay. That's okay. We still like him, even though he's a little slow on the unload. That's honestly the only problem with the Massey Combine, is the unloading auger. If it had a better unloading auger, it would be it would be just a superb Combine. But the unloading auger is the, uh, the downfall of this Combine. And really, that's not bad. If that's the only thing wrong with this Combine, that's not bad at all. 
Although he's done unloading already, so I mean it's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Just saying. Just saying, just saying. We should actually set up two combines side by side. Like pipe to pipe, and then you pull an auger wagon underneath and see which one gets done first. It'll be the bigger one, even though it holds more. Just saying. Somebody's beating on my front door right now. I wonder who that is. I wonder if it's that thing I ordered. Ooh, if it's that thing I ordered, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Be featured in an on the farm video probably before this comes out, so there is that. I ordered a super, super bright flashlight. I have a thing for flashlights, I will not lie. I definitely have a thing for flashlights, and uh, yeah, I just, I don't know, there's something about them. I just can't get enough. You know, with the technology of the LED, it's definitely spurred me to buy more flashlights. I liked flashlights growing up. I think my dad kind of instilled that in me. Because every year, every year at Black Friday, you know, the day after Thanksgiving, here in America, they, uh, Lowe's would always run a sale on mag lights. Well, every year for Christmas, by golly, we got ourselves a new mag light. So I have mag lights laying around. We've actually gotten rid of a few, like batteries leaked in them and stuff. We still have a lot of them. But they were the incandescent lights, which, okay, they were great in their day. But then with the advent of the LED, well, then we had to kind of upgrade all of our flashlights, our mag lights to LED. But honestly, in the past few years, we've kind of gone away from the mag light brand and just gone to, like, random ones. And Lowe's, a couple years ago, they ran these 1,000 lumen LED lights on sale during Black Friday. So Dad picked up a couple of those. We really like them. But A, the lenses have gone in like crap on them. And B, it seems like the batteries barely last in them anymore. So it's kind of weird. Um, so the other day he was talking about flashlights. So he bought a little one. It's like a 400 lumen or 500 lumen, I think. Which isn't bad. Um, but it's small. It's real small. And it's good for like, you know, when you're laying under a truck or a tractor and you need some light, it's good for that. Well, then the other day we were in Sam's Club. And we saw these, like, LED light strip kind of... I don't even know how to describe them. They look like a piece of PVC pipe is what they look like. But they illuminate 600 lumens out of them. And I'm like, that's pretty cool. So I showed them to Dad, and he's like, oh, that's pretty neat. But he didn't want to buy them, obviously, because that's, you know, whatever. It's fine. And we were in there on... It was actually Father's Day. We were in there. I believe it. Yeah, it was Father's Day, right? Yeah, I might date this video a little bit. But anyway... We were looking at these things, and I'm like, these are super cool. I want them. They're rechargeable. They come with a charger. There's two of them in the pack. Plus, they had an end light if you wanted to use it more as a flashlight instead of a, a floodlight, you know, or a spotlight instead of a floodlight. I was like, these things are super awesome. So I got it online the other day, and I ordered him a set. I'm going to give those to him. And then I was looking around online, and uh, I found this other flashlight that is like, obnoxiously bright <laughs> it boosts up to 2700 lumens for like a apparently like a short period of time if you need to like really see but the rest of the time it runs i think the highest setting is just over or not the high setting the or okay so there's low medium high and then boost i believe the high setting is over a thousand lumens which is like obnoxiously bright you know our thousand lumen flashlights we have the things are like obnoxiously bright. So this thing boosts up to 2,700 lumens. I cannot wait <laughs> to get the thing out at the farm at night and just light up the world. I, I just can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Of course, you know, back in the day, I even had like one of those giant incandescent or halogen. Actually, they were halogen bulbs, like a big floodlight spotlight thing had, had one of those where it actually had like the cigarette lighter adapter or the 12 volt auxiliary for like your car and you could uh, like plug it directly into like the truck as you're out you know whatever that thing was bright but with the, the advent of the led that stuff's just outdated you know with the invention and led stuff has come down in price quite a bit lately so it's pretty nice it's pretty nice not gonna lie but i've had I've had so many spotlights and floodlights and all these flashlights over the years and stuff. Like, if I see a flashlight that looks cool, I'm like, ooh, I gotta have it. 
<laughs> it's like my my weird thing. I don't know. It's definitely like my weird gotta have it the kind of thing. So there is that. But I guess I'll have to go see who was at the door. My aunt is home today, so she, if she's up, she probably answered it. But she's been taking naps here lately in the afternoon. But anyway, that's another story for another day. So, guys, next video, we will wrap up the corn harvest. I was hoping to show you the field, but instead, okay, we'll look inside the drain. Uh, <laughs> we'll wrap up the corn harvest and do a bunch of selling and uh, move the plant around, that kind of stuff, in the next video. But until then, I'm your boy, John from Pumaplot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, toodles!